Hi everyone, Sally here from Hows. In this video, I'm going to be editing a floor plan that I created with a 3D floor plan measurement tool. So let's begin. Right here, I'm looking at all the floor plans that I've previously created, whether it was in the mobile app or on the web. And if you watch my previous video where I scanned my bathroom, you'll see that I have this previously created floor plan that I did with the mobile tool. If you don't know how to use the floor plan measurement tool, uh, please refer to the other video. Once you follow those instructions, you, we can land at this point. So let's go click here. So now that I've landed in and I've zoomed out, I can see all the measurements. Um, one of the things that you might notice is that the 3D floor plan measurement tool, sometimes we're not going to get these perfect 90 degree angles. And if you remember what happened when I measured, this angle over here is quite a bit off because I actually scanned the corner that's actually inside my bathtub instead of the wall. And you know, over here, maybe I got the baseboard instead of the, the real edge. So one of the things I like to do is I like to just click and kind of nudge it so that I'm basically smoothing everything out. Um, the tool automatically snaps to 90 degrees. So I basically like to just adjust it a little bit so I get a perfect 90 degrees. All right. Now you can also see there's some strangeness happening with the windows over here. And part of the reason why is because we don't really know exactly what your windows and doors look like. So we basically only have cutouts. So what I also like to do at this point is because we're in a tool that now has real windows and doors that you can put in there, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and place a door where I know my door was. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure it fits the right way. And then with my window, I'm actually going to find the window that closest matches my window. I think probably this one over here. Oh, so as you can see, it's quite big for the space. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adjust it. So you go into this menu right here, you can go kind of up or down or just type in a value, which is much faster. But what I really like to do is since we just went and measured everything, we know the exact dimensions because that cutout was, you know, what we kind of superimposed um, as you were doing the measurements. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste. We'll do the width there. Go back to the cutout. Height. And the distance from the floor. Okay, so this is what our scene looks like right now. All right, let's go ahead and select some flooring. So let's give it some tile. Maybe we'll go for some um, some black tile. Oh, I like this look over here. I'm going to select the walls and hit shift. We're going to select a pink color. All right, let's pop on back to floor plan mode to add some products. So if I already have a product in mind, I can go ahead and search. So here I have the Caroline vanity. Click it. And let's rotate it into place. And let's say for everything else, let's just do this really quickly. We'll go to the products menu and we will add some generic products here. Move the shower to the corner. Let's add a bathtub. Uh, I'm going to try whatever size fits for this design right now, but obviously you guys will want to try working with some real product dimensions. Get those lined up in the space. Let's add a toilet. All right. So 
let's take a look at what it looks like in the dollhouse now. There we go.